Hi everyone, my name is Lean. I'm one of the physical therapists on the orthopedic floor here at Halifax Health. I'm here to talk to you about physical therapy after your surgery. Studies have shown the quicker we start with physical therapy after your surgery, the better your long-term outcome. So your surgeons are gonna write physical therapy orders that say start day of surgery. So how does that work here at Halifax Health? Your surgery will last for about two hours. You'll go from the operating room to the recovery room where you slowly wake up with a nurse at bedside. From the recovery room, you will be transported to the orthopedic floor in the France Tower. If you arrive in the France Tower at six o'clock, by six o'clock, you'll see physical therapy. Keep in mind, we wear brown scrubs, we're not from UPS. If you arrive there after six o'clock, you will not see physical therapy that night, but you will get a chance to get up with the nurses to maybe walk to the bathroom in the evening. Day after surgery, you will see us two times. In the morning, we do the exercises all over again, and then we're gonna walk. This time, we do wanna push the walking. The reason why, the first 15 to 20 feet, your joint's gonna feel a little stiff. The more you walk, the joint's gonna loosen up, and you're gonna walk much easier. The focus of the second session of the day will be discharge. Your surgeon wants you to go home. That is if you have the support. If you go home, you need to know your exercises, so we go over your home exercise program. You need to know how to get in and out of bed, how to use a walker, how to use a walker up your doorstep, how to get in and out of the car, and in case of stairs, we do practice stairs. Family is welcome to join this session. All right, now I would like to talk a little bit to our knee patients. You may have heard that the knees are a little bit more painful than the hips. Your surgeon will want you to have a nerve block. What is a nerve block? A nerve block is something that helps you with waking up from the anesthesia and getting hit with the pain to kind of smooth that out. So who gives you the nerve block? The anesthesiologist. And you'll be under anesthesia when you get the nerve block. So basically, you're not aware of getting it. So how does that work? You have your brain, your spinal cord, and from the lower back, nerves run down to your legs. One of those nerves will get an injection right next to it that blocks that nerve for about 24 to 36 hours. This nerve block is very helpful for bending that knee right away and walking really well day of surgery. Next, I wanna give some information for our patients who will get a total hip replacement. Let's look at your hip joint. You have a ball and a socket. This is your hip joint. There is a really tight capsule around it holding that joint together. Your surgeon has to open the capsule. There's two ways he can open it. He he can open it in the front, then we call it an anterior approach, or you can open it in the back, then we call it a posterior approach. After your surgeon opens the capsule, he replaces the joint, then he closes up the capsule and closes up the skin. Your skin incision will heal in one to two weeks. The capsule takes a little longer. It's a different type of tissue, so anywhere between six weeks and two months. When the physical therapist comes to the room, we read the operative report, we know which way your surgery went in, and we'll teach you some specific movements to stay away from. Don't worry, you can sit, stand, and walk. There's lots of things you can do. By the time you leave the hospital, you will know what to do and what not to do. All right, now I'm gonna to talk to everybody again, our knees and our hips. Remember we talked about the physical therapy orders that say start day of surgery, they will also say that you can put full weight on your new joint. Nothing's gonna loosen up, nothing's gonna go anywhere. So you could just get up and walk around like this. Well, it's not gonna be that easy. The reason why, you have some swelling around that joint and those muscles are not powerful right away to hold up that leg. So, I'm gonna show you right now the easiest way to get up after surgery. So let's pretend I sit on the side of the bed and my right leg will have surgery, whether it's the knee or the hip. I'm gonna stick it straight up. The easiest way to get up from here, nose over toes, push up on your arms and come up on that good leg. Come to stand all the way up. Once you're standing like this, you have 50% on each leg. This should be comfortable, almost so that you can let go of the walker and be okay. It is when you need to walk that you need the support of the walker. So this is how we do it. Walker first, then the operated leg, then you're gonna put a little weight through the arms and take a step. So it's walker, operated leg, and then take a step. How much weight you put through the walker depends on how the leg feels. 
Some people ask, why not move the good leg first? So let's say I moved a walker, and then my good leg. If this leg is a weaker leg, my operated leg, it may buckle and the support is away from you. So therefore, we move walker first, operated leg, push down on the walker, take a step. Walker, operated leg, push down and take a step. After we're finished walking, we're gonna sit up a little bit in a chair. Your surgeon wants you to sit up. He gives you narcotics. Narcotics suppress your breathing. He wants you to open up your lungs a couple of times a day so you don't get pneumonia. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're still gonna continue with our walking and then we're gonna back up and do everything in reverse. We're gonna stick that leg out, reach back, and then take a seat. We are almost done. Before you come to the hospital, I want you to look around the house. Look for any obstacles, anything that may make it hard for you to go home. It might be a sunken living room, some steps that you need to do, or a high bed or a low bed. Don't go sit on your knees and measure the height of the bed. Just the day before, back up to the bed and feel where it touches the back of your legs so we can raise it to your height. If you have steps, let us know how many, and if you have one rail or two rails, so we can practice. Steps should not be a problem for you to go home. And then last, there is this exercise sheet uploaded on our website. If you can get familiar with these exercises, that would be very helpful. Most of you should be familiar with these exercises. By the time you come here, you went through some physical therapy already. The focus is on flexibility of your joint and coordination of the muscles around it. There's no jumping jacks in there. This will wrap it up for physical therapy. I hope I answered most of your questions and I'll see you soon.